Uh, okay, everybody. Um, this is Gerald. Uh, it's been about three years since the last time I did one of these tutorial videos, and I thought that it needed some updating as I recently went back to it and I realized that the instructions that I gave, while helpful at the time, no longer are relevant. So now with the most recent release of Adobe Creative Cloud, CC17, um, we're going to show you how to download Encore CS6 because it's not readily available within the apps, but with a little digging, you can find it. So here we go. So what you'll do is you'll open up your Creative Cloud control panel and you'll scroll down you'll have all your app updates once you've updated the base program of Creative Cloud everything will say CC 2017 and open up. Uh, they have included a nifty new feature that I really like and if you go to your finder and you look here you'll see that they have cleaned up the programs a lot by deleting old versions and pretty much only leaving you with uh, the relevant ones based on what you've updated. Uh, as you can see here, about half of them are updated and half of them aren't. So let me go ahead and show you here. If you need to download Adobe Encore CS6, which is the last version that they created and they never updated it for CC, but they still have it available for those people who want to use it. What you have to do is you have to scroll down to find additional apps and if you notice all apps uh, Premiere isn't available and then most people would expect that if you click on all apps and go to video then you should also get Premiere but it's not there so what you actually have to do is click the drop down menu here and scroll all the way down and it's easy to overlook view previous versions just because it's down there kind of out of the way and in a different font and uh, color it just kind of blends out you don't really see it so you need to click on view previous versions and then you will get all of the previous versions and there's Premiere Pro you click install and then it gives you the options and there at the bottom will be CS6 you click there do your permissions and it will begin downloading in the background where is it at? Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 now what it's actually doing is downloading Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 family and that means that over here you're going to get Adobe Encore, Adobe Premiere Pro CS6, Adobe Bridge CS6, and Adobe Media Encoder CS6. Um, all the other programs have been updated. There's Adobe Bridge CC 2017, there's Media Encoder 2017 which you know couples with Premiere. So you don't really have to worry about them. Um, you can uninstall Premiere Pro CS6 while also leaving Encore CS6. That's just up to you if you want to save the space, but it's not necessary. The programs will still work just as they would. Once this is done, you will see Encore CS6 here. You'll be able to open it. These are some leftover files from the last time that I had it before doing this little demo. But you'll actually see it up here, and then you can drag it down to your taskbar, and you can open it like any of the other programs. And it's like it never left. Okay. So that is how you download Adobe Encore CS6 in the new Creative Cloud 2017. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe. Probably going to be doing some more tutorials sometime soon. We'll see. Thanks for watching.